Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm your host, Mark Spencer, with me, as is usual, Steve Martin. Hi, Mark. Hi, Steve. More stuff. More, but very, very interesting stuff. 10.03 yeah. stuff. Yeah, so stop. we're, we're uh, continuing our discussion about the 10.0.3 Final Cut Pro 10.0.3 update and uh, all the interesting things kind of behind the scenes, things that aren't really, people aren't necessarily talking about as much, but are, are critical to workflow and, and just being able to work with the app on a daily basis, right? And sanity, as we'll and find sanity. today. Okay, yeah. so, so what do we got? Well, sanity in the sense that uh, there are times when your project or event library becomes corrupted and what to do, oh, what to do. Becomes corrupted. Yes. Like you, you, you it goes out uh, carousing and. Yes, it goes out uh, tomcatting at night and then uh, comes back all <laughs> you corrupted. Have a, you have a corrupted project file. Yeah. And you're useless, and wakes it up, hung over. Doesn't want to get out of bed, right. just wants to watch TV right. all day. It's just so, terrible. And that, that's happened, that, that happened in Final Cut 7 and stuff. That has happened sometimes it in does. big complicated projects. And so, what do you start over? <laughs> well, no, you don't. That's that's the beauty yeah. of it. Or, you, it. or you've made you've made it. But wait, Final Cut saves by itself all the time now, right? Yeah. In fact, I'm glad you brought that up. Let's let's talk a little bit about again Final Cut Pro again. Is this giant database uh, right. like like right. I move like uh, iPhoto like Aperture right. like FileMaker Pro? You don't save anymore because everything about Final Cut Pro is a database. So any change you make, it's re recorded. It's immediately written into that database. It gets written into the okay. database, so right? There's no, there's save no saving. Anymore. So right. th that's a good thing. I mean, I don't command S, command S, command S. Right. Although I have, I have, I have this program in my wrist. Uh, I'm they, always they, doing this. S. What are you yeah, doing? Yeah, so. But it doesn't do anything anymore. <laughs> no, because again, the database is saved. In fact, yes. since uh, since we're talking about it, let's go to uh, the Finder and let's look at the database. So what I'm going to do is is go to the movies folder. This is where if you don't have an external drive, by default, Final Cut Pro creates two folders, Final Cut Events yes. and Final Cut Pro Projects. Yep. Now, Final Cut Pro Events will be all of your media, all of your yes. source media. So what I'm gonna do is open up this one called The Planet. And uh, you'll see here that there is the database, current version.fcp yeah, event. It's always called that for an event. Always yeah. called that. Every single one of these events has its own current version.fcp yes. event. That's essentially the database that gets changed every time you make a change. Okay. It gets essentially new entries get made into so it. So it's all the information for every clip about where you've put it in the projects and what pieces of it you've used and, and what filters you've put on it and everything. Yes, exact, uh, exactly, yeah. except we're looking okay. at the events oh, folder. Oh, the events, right. I'm mixing up the events with the project. <laughs> Well, there's yeah, yeah. two different databases. Yes, That's the thing. Yes. There's the event database, but to your point, things that you do to the clip, like when you make an in and out point, yes. you're storing, you know, favorites, you're, uh, you're, uh, you're the, tagging keywords, things. All of that stuff keyword is... Keyword collections, smart collections. Stored in the uh, event database. In the event database, right. got it. Now, there's a separate database for projects. Right. So, for example, if I go into this Weekend Warriors, look, um, actually, let me find, well, let me find something that I have. Oh, here. Apple Pro Video Series. I'm going to open up this one. See, here's there's the database for FCP that one project, project. instead right. of FCP event. Exactly. Yep. Now, okay. here's what's new. Okay. What's new is that every single project has a, now a backup folder, and here is the backup file. Okay. Now, let's see if I can make this big enough so you can actually see, see the whole it. file name. Yeah, it's it's yeah. Well, hopefully you can see the whole file name. Looks it's, it's named by date. It looks like. Yeah. Well, what you, it's there's the year 2012. Okay. Yeah. There's a month. There's the day. Okay. Okay. But it also has a timestamp: uh, hours, oh. minutes, seconds. 11, 36, and 52 seconds. Yes. Wow. Now, okay. Here, here's what's. Here's what happens. PST, oh, is PST, that Pacific, Pacific Standard, Standard time. time? Wow, okay. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. I mean, Apple and their meticulous yeah. detail. And that's, that's okay. So what's, what's great is the backup happens every 15 minutes. Automatically. So, automatically. So, okay. So this is what right. happens. You're working, da, da, da. You're making changes. It's getting stored into the database, getting stored into the yeah. project database. And then what, what Final Cut Pro does is it looks back 15 minutes. Okay, has any change been made? Oh, I see a change was made, mm -hmm. though, at minute nine. Right. Okay. But it, and so at that 15 minute mark, what it does is that it will make a backup file at that timestamp. Okay. A so brand new backup. Brand file. new backup every 15 minutes. Does it replace the last one, or do you get it, a long no, list of them? Um, it just replaces the last. So one. instead of the autosave vault from Legacy Final Cut, where you ended up with. Yeah, this, yeah, and it started, yeah, and yeah. that got significant after a while, yeah. right? So this is always one that's based on, it's never older than 15 minutes. That's right. Now, to be clear, if you don't, if you're working on a project and you don't do anything at all for 15 minutes, yeah. 
it'll look there and say no changes made. Fine, and and yeah. so basically, the yeah. backup file and the project it'll file say, should be identical. Wake, wake me up when you've done something. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> wake me up when you've got something to tell me. Exactly. Okay. So the the, the point is is that it's just a 15 minute in increment uh, okay. interval. Now, what? Why is this important? Because we did mention at the start of this, this what is this episode yeah. that that things can go awry you, sometimes. You can get a right? They they, they can get, yeah. get they, it just happens every now and then. Yeah. So what I've done is I have this project file, and I just want to just I'm going to open it with um, something. I'm going to just open it with a. You've probably never done this before, and uh, so this is a you, Final Cut Pro project final, file. It's a Final Cut Pro Final, final Cut, Pro, and I'm just going to open it text and edit. text edit. And okay. I just want you to see it's a bunch of gobbledygook. <laughs> there's there's <laughs> all of the instructions. There's, there's my hard work. There's all my hard yeah. work is represented okay. by gobbledygook. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is, and I don't recommend doing this, <laughs> is I'm just going to delete. Don't do this don't, at home. Don't. I'm just going to delete a bunch of the gobbledygook and then close the file. Okay. okay. Even says at the top, if you look close, it says edited, right? So yeah, yeah it's okay. Well, in fact, and in fact, text edit now because uh, as of Lion automatically saves any changes you make. So you would be. It's like Final Cut Pro. <laughs> you think text edit's like Final Cut Pro? Yeah, yeah. It's all becoming database driven. Yes, yes. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. Okay. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is now this is a it's a it's a Steve corrupted project. Yeah. Okay. You purposely so corrupted. I purposely your project, corrupted. So what yeah. I'm going to do is grab this and I'm going to just wait. Actually, before I do. I'm going to um, quit Final Cut Pro just, just so you can see okay. what happens. Because I don't want to overwrite the file with a file open. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this file, I'm going to drop it in here, and of course I'm going to replace it. Okay. Right? And I'm going to relaunch Final Cut Pro. Now, Final Cut Pro is not going to like my modifications. <laughs> to it. it doesn't like when you just go into the file and randomly no, it, rip stuff out of no, there. No, no, it okay. really hates uh -huh. it. Uh -huh. Ah, look, Final Cut Pro cannot open. So this oh, is. So wait, even you might have dozens or hundreds of projects, but if just one of them in there is corrupted. You can't even open Final Cut Pro 10. You're stuck. So this is really good because you could have some old project that you don't care about. Right. I don't care if it's corrupted. Who cares? It's you know, it's not mine, but it's stopping you from doing well, work. Well, more to the point, you see, it says, "What if I have like weekend? War what do I have? Twenty weekend warriors projects." What's yeah. interesting about this window is if you click this little arrow over here, yes. this will actually take you to the actual folder that that, of the, contains, uh, that, that corrupted contains that corrupted project okay. file. So if you, I mean, if you have the inclination, you can then try to backward engineer it or open it up or whatever. I, you know, uh -huh. I'm not going to do it. I have no interest in that. Right. But um, th look, there it is. I mean, you could you can at least investigate. That would be like an investigate button. Right. Okay. Right. But Got you it. can say like, look, just just quit. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna go go to a movie or something. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I give up. Oh, I give up. <laughs> or if you click restore, yes. it's gonna what it's gonna do is go back. It's gonna go to that folder with a backup the folder. Last backup. The last backup. Back, and pull from that. Pull from that. Okay. Click restore. Great. And Great. I'm ready to go. Okay. And it it really truly is a lifesaver. Okay. Now. What's interesting, and I haven't tried this, is you know every time you're, you're editing and like the last 20 things you're doing, you're just going in a totally wrong direction. And I wish I could just get back to right. a state. I'm going to do 27 undos, basically, right? Yeah, I'm going to do what you can't. But I guess if you absolutely had to, you can corrupt the project file so that when it, a window will come up so you can bring up the oh, backup, which is the last oh, 15 to, minutes. To force you to open the backup. Is yeah. there a way directly to go do the backup? I don't not? think so. Okay. I haven't tried it. Okay, but so you could kind of force it to... It's just an idea. Yeah. I haven't tried, but yeah. you know, for those of you out there who are inclined to kind of mess around with stuff, yeah, and you've you gone 15 minutes into yeah. it. Yeah, but it's uh, it's powerful. Look, I'm back. I'm back online. Here's all my yep. clip clips. Yep. That's and that's. You've only lost 15 minutes of work at the most. At the most, but it, it could be less if the last backup was you know close to yes. minute 14 or right. more right. or what have you. But so that's essentially backup. I think again, it's a huge, yep. huge thing. Yep, and it's not it's not something you really think about or ever heard a lot about, but it will can save. You can save your butt. Yes. Great. Okay. Absolutely. So stay uncorrupted, and thank you for watching MacBreak Studio. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching MacBreak Studio, and we'll see you next time.